Hi. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Just um, tell me, where welcome, are you? Welcome with the technology problems. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that, but better late than never. But um, tell me, where are you? What's the, what's the space you're sitting in? I'm in a space just uh, near the, the shop, the showroom in Milan. It's a new space that before was the Bizarza showroom and now is uh, called Masetti Sumisura, that means uh, for Masetti Ammejo. It's a place dedicated only for custom made uh, design for the clients by appointment who they want to do something special, exclusive and designed for a particular interior for the home. So they can design, uh, we can design the complete interior or a singular piece, a singular piece of furniture, like a unit piece. And this is a new space, I understand. And, and when, does it open? when does it open? It's opening next week. And it's just for professional clients, right? By invitation, so architects who want to do an interior or interior design. Yes, but not only, also, also private people who want to, to decorate the, the house. And um, I understand you have a new collection as well, a new collection of, of furniture. There is, also, there is also a new collection of uh, sofas and tables and armchairs um, with uh, different uh, fabrics. Now, in this space in particular, we can see only one kind of this, of this collection, just this one with the leopard and the, the fake bamboo that was uh, an idea that comes from the villa on the lake that my father did in the 50s in the lake of Como. Uh, in the living room there was this, uh, um, this uh, sofa made with uh, iron like decorated like bamboo uh, was very was a less simple we we modernize the design of this because it was too complicated and there was too many junctions so now is more simple and modern but always handicraft So I think, and, and the, the design, the, the print of the fabric is the leopard that was in the chest, and um, and the place here, the room is all ivory and uh, Joponte inspired. There is a a reedition, a limited edition of Fumo. That was the first one we did, uh, one of the first we did with, uh, with my father. Um, it's very particular. After when we turn, we can see. There is a table always inspired by one designed by Giacomo that I modified. And uh, there is a a vintage uh, big uh, panel that was a door, a sliding door, with a double decoration, very, very nice. And uh, I will describe uh, the place we can we can go if you if yeah, let's have a camera me, oh. camera following. This is the the cabinet. We do the same, uh, I don't know how it's the same thing with this kind of wood. And uh, is the prototype of the 
cabinet that after my father modified and decorated with different uh, decoration. Uh, some vintage plates with the Italian painters. And after we can go in this, uh, ah no, before you can see this part of the room, there is a vintage cabinet with the bookshelves. It's a vintage cabinet, cabinet that I find in an auction and I make the decoration only in the, in the panels. It's a very nice cabinet. With a very nice view inside. And uh, the theme of the place is the books and, and the leaves with the leopard. In the entrance, we made the, we, we reproduced the metaphysical chamber on a wallpaper. It's a custom made wallpaper. And uh, on this wall, there are some panels with different themes of decoration. So the, the client when it comes, you can choose some, there are some examples of different decoration, as you can see. Um, there is the city of God, there are eggs, monkeys, from uh, play, and different things in a very ironical way. Also in, the, in this uh, part, there are the leaf again and something with the real metal with a gun and uh, some objects. That uh, that one, the head, the black head with the shell, with, with real shells. It's something that I made during the lockdown. I uh, recycled, I used some shells that was, uh, uh, was used in the 50s from my mother to make the chandelier for the new one. So there was something remained, so I, I take it and I, and I make these objects. Um, some more example of different decoration on panels. Uh, it's, uh, it's interesting also the possibility to make curved panels if you have a curved wall. And another thing very interesting is the glass, the door, the glass door. With, uh, classical masculine profile. And uh, this is a, another room with a big table and uh, a different way to use the, the wallpaper. Maybe in stripe. If you follow, I can show you also this uh, small bar. This is a small bar for a, for a private house. And that's, that's it. Looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And there is also in, in the shop, the collection, different collection of uh, uh, the same design of sofa with, with different fabrics and different uh, decoration. 
there is in particular there is one that is called solitario where, where the themes of the decoration is only sounds taken from a, two small books that, that my father designed in the 40s uh, with a pen and with a, by hand uh, with some uh, written words very very nice very very ironical, and we reproduce the, the sounds in the fabrics and the, the, the words on the metal of the, of the sofas. Maybe if we have time, we can go to see also that, if you want, we have just to walk 10 meters on the street. Let's, shall we try? Do you think the Wi-Fi will be connected if we do that? Yeah, why not? So let's go, let's go. You can take it on the whole city. You can see also Milano less polluted after the lockdown. This is the collection of the sanitario from that side. Solitario per solitari, solo disegni senza solennità. There are version in uh, white and version in black, or with black and white. It's customizable. And we are also printing uh, the, the same book that my father did. We are making a limited edition uh, printing of the small book, a re-edition of the book, it, probably next month because we have uh, problems with the lockdown. See the Sun King is always present. That's the new Bizarza collection mosaic is a, just an example, and after. Another different decoration for, for the sofas and the tables. 
more up to God. Okay. Great. Yeah, yeah. So why don't you sit down somewhere so we can have a conversation? Okay, Let, let's sit down here. So, Barnaba, for anybody who doesn't know, tell us a little bit about Fornacetti. Tell us about the brand and your father, Piero, and, and how it all started. Uh, to be sincere, I don't really like to, to be a, a brand because it's not really a brand. For me. So probably now it became a brand, but my father started as a painter, a sculptor, when he was young at the beginning, after the school where he was a, a rebel. Me also I was a rebel during the, the 60s, but in a different way. My father uh, was fighting against the method of uh, learning in the school because uh, uh, they he wants to to draw, to design the body, and that was not possible because um, in this country they are very Catholics, and, and so the nude was forbidden, to be an example. Uh, so he was expelled by by the from the school, but after he win also a, a, some money when he was back because he was a very good uh, guy and uh, very talented so they understand his talent and so it was possible for him to go back very very in a very good way but after that uh, he, uh, he he was um, his my grandfather was uh, accepting the that my father became an artist and so he was building in the same place where I live now a, a small room as a studio and after some years he started to 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 print to print lithography and uh, he became uh, one of the most important uh, printer in Italy at the time for art, uh, art printing, art book, uh, lithographies, engraving, and all the most important artists, Italian artists of the beginning of the last century, they came to print to him, and, uh, and he was very inspired by that. So you can see in his uh, first work, his drawing, his painting, how he was inspired by different kind of uh, artists, like from surrealism of the Kiriko to minimalism of Lucio Fontana. And uh, after that, uh, because he was very curious in techniques, he started to print on fabrics, in particular on silk. And uh, with the help of my mother, he started to print headscarves in silk. And that was the, the moment when Giacomo uh, saw these works and invited him to participate in a big exhibition now in the 40s, where um, uh, he has a lot of success, it was the time of the growing industries, or it was the boom of the industrial, um, the industrial growing, and uh, for Gioponti was the moment uh, to create something to trans something 
a technique to transfer the, the art to the decoration of the beginning of the century on a common use object. They don't care about limited edition. Uh, it was something to do in, in a big series for, for, for the industry. And I used to say that that was like uh, a kind of uh, something impossible, like uh, an utopia, you know? And my father realized that after the exhibition, where he received uh, some orders from the States, from England, from North Europe, of plates, furniture, in hundreds of plates, 10 pieces of furniture, but not so, it was not enough for the industry. The, the, the companies who at the beginning realized the, the prototype was not interested to continue the production because the numbers was not enough for the industries. So my father was a little deluded, but he was starting to produce uh, by himself. And he, in the 50s, he opened the workshop at the beginning with only one or two employers. The one was the printer of the photography, and uh, with my mother helping. And in a few years, the, the company became bigger. They started the, the production and uh, the export. And um, he, he arrives to have. Uh, 11,000 different objects in the showroom. He was a little crazy in terms of managing the company. So he was successful in the 60s, at the beginning of the 70s. But at the end of the 70s, he started to decrease in success also because the minimalism was coming. So he was not so in fashion at the time. And uh, also for his character, it was not easy with the, with the people, with, with the collaborators, with the clients, etc. And um, at the beginning of the 80s, he was asking from Tuscany, I was there for a while to, to make my, my life separated from me. For me, it was was very interesting and important to come and work together with him and to save also, in a certain sense, uh, the company that was not feeling very good. And uh, the collaboration was very good uh, for some years. In the 1988, he died, and I continued by myself. I, I made some license, I made some experience in fashion that uh, I didn't like because it was uh, successful in terms of uh, critical, in a critical way, but not in terms of uh, production. And I realized that uh, the Fornazetti style is not for fashion because fashion is too fast. And uh, birds, everything in, in a short time it doesn't give the possibility to, to, to explore uh, deeply the, the world so made of precious of one thing. And um, I I continued to make uh, some lices in a different field. And uh, recently we realized that if you want to survive as an independent company, you have good quality and grow in terms of quality, not in terms of numbers. So you have to be exclusive and very sophisticated. And, um, but uh, 
for my for my idea of uh, of life in general uh, i would like to to expand also the decoration that is something that you can apply everything everywhere and um, uh, I try to make different experiences in different fields. For example, in the theater, we produced an opera two years ago, and uh, we made, uh, for example, the, the, the more recent experience is with the mosaic that was very difficult to, to find a way to. to uh, to realize the line that is in the DNA of uh, Fornazetti, the, the, the absolutely pure and black line is difficult to transfer in, in the mosaic. So, but at the end, uh, we realize and, uh, and we was able, uh, with the help of this answer, to find a way. We had an experience in Parfums um, that now we are developing in a different way and many other things. Many cultural projects in the, in the exhibition. We start in the, with some exhibition um, from the 90s in London at the Victorian Albert was an exhibition, uh, an historical exhibition, a, a retrospective. In the Trinale, I, I like to call it retro prospective because it was not only the history, but it was only a kind of proposal for the young people how to use the Formazetti method of research and decoration using what is available. My father used to say that there is nothing to create new. Everything is available. You can use it. And, um, and uh, in the last exhibition that I that we did in Rome and in Parma that is going on now until February is a different experience in terms of exhibition because it's a, it's a dialogue between Bonazetti and the antique work of art. In Rome, it was an archaeological museum, so the classical uh, works were was the most uh, influential ins inspiration for my father. In Parma, his Renaissance, his Baroque, his painting, sculpture, um, and the theater Farnese, incredible. So we did some installation inside, installation of um, old and new Fornazetti objects, videos. So there is also some technologies. Uh, and that's the way that I like. Tell me about the collection. How many pieces are there in the collection? Where is it stored? And when you're doing new um, new projects with the archive, how does that work? You just you just look through it and find find a drawing that you like. Mm, I like uh, to wait ideas that come. So I don't like to have. A precise appointment. Okay, there is the Salon of Mobile every year, but I prefer to be free. When I have a good idea, I, I realize it and I wait the moment to, 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 to come out with something that I like. I don't care a lot from the marketing uh, uh, suggestions. Uh, I, I, I like to do what I like. 
And how many drawings are there in the archive? Hard. <laughs> it is uh, really a lot. We uh, about uh, more than 11, 12,000 different uh, objects uh, and, 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 this, and, and the design for making it. Every object has, a, has a, some variation, of course, because uh, the way of working on my father was also teams and variation. So there is a team and after variation, the most famous is the face of Nina Kanajevic, the face of a woman variated uh, hundreds uh, hundred of times, and I continue to make variations. And um... Have you, you were talking earlier about um, decoration and minimalism. Do you think appreciation for decoration seems like there's a lot of color coming back into design, a lot of decoration? Do you feel that? Well, we need decoration. You know, decoration is something like uh, music for life. It's something that uh, is a pleasure for life. You know, can you imagine the world without music and the same is without decoration? Today, in the modern world, for economical reason, uh, we, con we less consider decoration. But I think that it's very important. Uh, we, we need it. It's something for the soul. You know? And we will come back in some way. It's also a way to give some messages. Um, it's, uh, is the link with art, you know? So design and art is all is all is more and more and more connected, you know, because uh, design is not only the shape, it's also something talking about the making talking about something like a concept uh, you can communicate through design. So tell us again, the Sumizura store, what's the address of it? Where is it in Milan? It is in uh, Via Senato, on the corner of uh, Corso Venezia. It's a very noisy place. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not as noisy as M Milan normally the is. The traffic is back, unfortunately. Milan was so beautiful during this lockdown. Only some bicycles, few people around. It was incredible, surreal. And uh, with Sumizura, so, because it was quite difficult to hear at the beginning of the conversation, this is a, a, a professional space, right? It's appointment only, so what yeah. kind of- what for kind of architects, space? interior designers, but also for private people who want to make something special and, and customized. And the new collection, the furniture pieces, when will they be launched? Sorry? A new collection of, of furniture pieces, like the, the chair you're sitting on. Mm. They are uh, available. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't understand. I hear you. The furniture collection, the pieces like the chair you're sitting on. Yeah. Are they uh, available now or are they going to yes. be? Yes, yes. Can. These are, uh, you can buy. Now, just the time to, to finish the, <laughs> the exhibition, but you can order and have it in a few months. And the fabrics also, you can buy also the fabrics uh, uh, in meters. There are different colors of fabric, it's a variation of uh, colors for the fabrics also. That was a few years that we didn't make any now they are available again. Well, Barbara, it's great to see you again. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you in real life this year, but thanks so much. Thanks so much for showing us around. Yeah, I hope that uh, people can come from everywhere to look at the exhibition in Parma that is very interesting. And it's 
on until February and maybe more because there are many exhibitions after that are not uh, confirmed, so maybe we have time. Okay. So I we'll see you soon. I hope to see you in Milan before too long. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.